welcome. I'm Brittany. I'm a certified nutritionist and um, I wanted to chat about carbs and how they don't make you fat. So technically the only time you gain weight is when you consume more than you're burning. So it really doesn't matter what you eat. If you're eating in excess, you're going to gain. If you're in a deficit, then you will lose. Um, hi Glee. Hi Big Sky. How are you? Hi, Sinel. Hi, Bill. How's everyone today? You're great. Your team keto. <laughs> is there a specific um, health reason or is that just the diet that works for you? Hi, King. Yes, I. I'm doing good today, Big Sky. Thanks for asking. I'm a big fan of carbs. I eat about, out of all my calories, about 50% is carbs. And I've been a trap. Oh, the heat wave. It got super hot in California. Is that what you're talking about? Where is my soldiers? Who's my soldiers? So yeah, anyways, um, you know, any diet that works for you is like the diet you should go with. Hi, Big Sky. So depending on your preferences, what makes you feel good. Um, hi, Matt. You must do a lot of cardio. Um, but you know, if you want to lose weight, the key is to be in a deficit. So your body has a certain amount of calories that it has to consume to sustain um, and if you want to lose weight you deduct 500 calories per day then you'll lose about a pound a week if you want to increase your energy expenditure then you just walk more or exercise more and um, you can burn even more oh thank you as long as it's from fruit, organic, whole grains, and not white starchy carbs, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, that's true. So part of the refining process for, like, okay, so whole grain is a, um, a grain, and the anatomy of a grain is, like, the outside shell, the, the inside, and then when they refine the grain, they take out the, the shell, and they take out all the, a lot of the nutrients, the B vitamins, and the fiber, and then you get um, refined carbs and you get white rice, uh, in terms of rice, anyways. Um, yeah, California was good. I had a great trip. I um, I got to see a lot of my friends. Oh, thanks for the super heart, Bill. I appreciate that. Um, I, I got to see my friends. I got to meet up with a lot of people. I had a great 4th of July. I had great gold. I um, got to spend time with my puppy. And um, yeah, it was a good trip. It went by super fast. So, that that's kind of a bummer, but um, yeah, it was good. Hi, Carl, Carly and Viking. Hi, Antonio. Bob's Red Mill, they have great organic whole grain products like oats and barley. Yeah, Bob, Bob's Red Mill, I've, I've not had that before, but um, I normally just go with like Quaker oats or whatever is the cheapest at the grocery store. <laughs> Um, I get rolled oats. I eat a lot of raw oats. Um, usually I eat them cold. I just pour almond milk and add some good stuff like banana, fruit, nuts, uh, maple syrup, different things. But today I actually, um, I actually cooked my oats today and just put in a little bit of protein powder and a banana. It was really good. So that's what I had for breakfast. For lunch, I don't know if you guys saw my um, cooking scope yesterday. I made the chicken with uh, mushrooms and bouillon and um, capers, zucchini squash, and uh, that's what I had for lunch. So what happens to the carbs we take in? I'm only here because you're fine. Um, so a lot of the carbs are s stored in your muscles. Um, it turns into the glycogen. 
and your body saves that energy for later. Um, if you're consuming more than what your body burns, then it does turn into fat, but as long as you're not eating in excess, then you shouldn't have that problem. Um, I had a cooking scope yesterday on the Next Juice channel. That's N-E-X-J-U-I-C-E. -E. Um, it's a network of a bunch of broadcasters. A girl named Taylor runs it, and um, it's it's a it's a fun network to be a part of. And if you guys aren't following them, you should. And you can see my replay from yesterday, my cooking scope. Hmm. No, beer's not juice. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, Johnny Football. I have an ebook if you're interested in um, getting some more of my recipes. I have one already. I'll have another one soon. And um, if you donate $20 or more to my coffee, I'll send you the first ebook. And the link is in my the title of my um, Periscope. And I'm also offering nutritional coaching if you're interested. You can't wait to meet in NYC. Um, what kind of food? Really all kinds of stuff. Um, there's like meals, there's snacks, there's desserts. Um, good carbs. Um, I had a carrot cake recipe with... Um, it's basically like a healthy version of carrot cake. And, um, ew. Healthy version of carrot cake with um, an icing, cream cheese icing. Hello, Chloe, how are you doing today? Have a great day, Big Sky. Thanks for joining and thanks for the super heart. Do you think it matters when you should eat carbs? I heard... No, I don't think it matters when you eat carbs. As long as... You can eat them any time of the day. It's it's not true that if you eat super late, it turns into fat. It's, it's really all about how much you've consumed. And if you've... Um, if you're consuming... It, it doesn't matter what time of day that you have your carbs. Hi, Garcia. Well, I, my recipe is not technically carrot cake because it's made out of oats and um, sugar-free syrup and carrots. There's no flour. There's no butter. There's none of that stuff. So if you're making my recipe, then I would say yes, it's okay for a man that looks 15 years pregnant. <laughs> but uh, a normal carrot cake, I would say no, that's probably not good. Um, yeah, if you're, di I'm not speaking for diabetics, so this is only for people that don't have that. So you would definitely need to talk to your doctor um, in terms of what is the best diet for you if you have diabetes. Um, any suggestions for your mom who has high cholesterol? Um, yeah, I, I would suggest to have, um, you know, clean, lean, like clean foods, like whole, all whole foods, no processed foods. Lean meats, uh, lots of fruits and vegetables, olive oil, um, no saturated fat, and exercise. Hi, Garcia. How are you? Complex carbs, exactly. Um, I don't have cheat days. I, I believe, like, you should have a flexible diet. So if you want something that's not super healthy, you can have it, but just have it in moderation and fit it into your macros. Or be aware of how many calories are, you know, let's say like unhealth. Like say you're having, say you have 2,000 calories a day, you can have 150 calories of like some cheat food if you want. If, you, um, But I don't believe in a whole cheat day because you can do a lot of damage in one day. Oh, you have a crazy good metabolism. That's amazing, punk. What is the alcohol to drink while losing weight? I would say if you're trying to lose weight, to not drink any alcohol. I look like I'm doing 14 years ago. Um, very hot. Where are you, Garcia? 
Thoughts on keto? Yeah, I do have Instagram. It's Brittany's Quest. B R I T T A N Y S Q U E S T. Same name as my um, Periscope handle. I have Twitter, Instagram. Same, same name. Um, my thoughts on keto? Well, it it does work, um, but I don't think it's the best for someone that's healthy. I know there's certain people like um, if you have epilepsy it's good for I've heard that it's good for people that have epilepsy but for the normal person I wouldn't I would say it's hard to sustain and it's for me it's like personally I feel better when I'm eating carbs so I would never want to be on keto diet because you can't have carbs um, but it, it does work but I mean you still have to be in a deficit so any diet is gonna work if you're in a deficit so a deficit means that you're eating less than your body's burning so like for example my body burns 2,000 calories thanks for the super heart shot in the dark my body my to maintain my weight I should eat 2,000 calories a day so if I want to lose weight I need to eat 1500 calories so that's a 500 calorie deficit per day and in one week I will lose one pound if if I calculate everything right. It doesn't matter if I'm eating keto, it doesn't matter if I'm eating paleo, it doesn't matter if I'm eating McDonald's every day. If I'm in a deficit, then I will lose weight. It's all about deficit. It's not about what you're eating, it's about how many calories you're consuming. And obviously if you're eating McDonald's, since M McDonald's has a lot of calories um, and a lot of fat, you're not going to be able to sustain a deficit because you're going to be too hungry. So. Um, well, King, it depends on your body, like, it depends on, um, thank you, Shot in the Dark, for the compliment. Um, personally, I don't like vodka at all. I think it's disgusting, and I think when you're drunk, um, from, or like when you're buzzed from, uh, vodka, it's not even a good feeling. I would rather, I, I like tequila, but... I don't drink very much, so. Carbs are amazing. I love them. Yep, I'm with you, Dove. I love carbs, too. I um, I eat carbs every meal, basically. Um, I do agree, King, that 1,500 calories is um, too little. It does hurt your workouts a bit. But, um, you know, I was just traveling. And actually, I'm kind of on a break right now from a deficit. I've been eating a lot more. I've been probably having 2,000 calories a day. So my workouts are feeling very strong and I'm feeling very powerful. Um, I don't feel, like, weak and tired and all this because I'm not in a deficit. Um, Brittany gets my heart racing. <laughs> um, I don't drink too much, but if I do drink, I would prefer wine or tequila. If someone has a fast metabolism, how many calories can they consume on average? It really depends on your age, your sex, and your activity level, um, and your goals. On, so if, but Johnny Football, if, if you're like, I would say on average 2,000 calories, but it, like, 2,000 calories, that's for me, I'm, I'm 5'8", so if you're like a little bit taller and, and you're a man, you burn a little bit more, so you could probably go up a little. But um, if you want me to help you and tell you what, how many calories you should have to maintain, gain, or lose, um, just DM me and I'll help you out. You need carbs if you work out. Yes, Deb, that is true. The key is the type of carbs. Exactly. So complex carbs um, like oats, sweet potatoes. Um, whole grain, whatever, those are good carbs. And simple carbs like sugar, um, those are the ones that you want to stay away from, like processed junk. Sugar drinks like Red Bull. Um, if they're sugar-free, Matt, it's not, they're not so bad if you have them in moderation. So you can have, um, if you have sugar-free and you just have, you know, moderate amount of energy drinks, it's okay. I'm not a CrossFitter, but I, I've done CrossFit before. Um, ciao. Hi. Wild Aid O. Um, yes, Dub, there are calculators online you can use.
Sweet potatoes are my favorite. Um, you got sugar free. I I've been on. Um, I like the sugar free rock stars and the sugar free monsters personally. And I don't recommend having more than one a day. But there's this um, sugar free rock star that's called Cotton Candy. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like tastes like candy. Like I just want to chug it. I have to like tell myself slow down when I'm drinking them. Hi, Amet. How are you? I have not seen you in a long time. Welcome to the scope. Yes, sweet potato, steak, Greek salad. That sounds amazing. I'm with it. What if a previous in injury doesn't allow you to do any workouts at all? Then I would say that you need to have a perfect diet if you want to stay as lean as you can or if you want to lose weight. If you can't work out and you can't do cardio, all you've got is your diet. So I would be very careful on what you eat. Hi, Super Alvin. Hi, I'm, I'm doing good. Thank you. Okay, I'm like really behind on comments, so I'm trying to catch up. Do you recommend starchy carbs like white potatoes or bananas? Um, I, I eat bananas every day, like one at least. Usually not more than one, but um, yeah, white potatoes are good. I don't think you should have them for every single, you know, you should alternate your carbs um, and you should be eating different different carbs for every meal, but I definitely think that white potatoes are good. Um, when I'm down, I consume a whole bag of potatoes. Wow. Um... Zevia. I don't I have not tried that. Do you mean stevia? By UFC stem cell. Um what to eat for breakfast? Um so I love eating oatmeal with uh, protein powder or even egg whites, um other stuff mixed in, sometimes peanut butter, sometimes peanuts, sometimes banana, sometimes fruit. I also love um eggs and like avocado toast. Um, I usually go with eggs and toast or eggs and avocado um, or oatmeal. I mean, I, pretty much I eat oatmeal every day for breakfast with um, with protein powder and some fruit. Being too lean makes it easier to get beat up. <laughs> How do you feel about intermittent fasting? Um, I think the intermittent, intermittent fasting helps people consume less calories. Um, so I think that's a good strategy if you are having a hard time controlling like how much you eat because there is like a window and you can't, like I know a lot of people that do intermittent fasting, they pretty much eat from 12 to 8. So after 8 o'clock they don't eat anymore. Um, so I think it does help you restrict your calories and if you're trying to lose weight, restricting calories will help you lose weight. Um, so I think that's a good strategy if if you need help with controlling how much you eat. Yeah, I don't know much about what Britney Spears is taking in terms of drugs. Eat some barbecue chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, that sounds delicious. Okay. <laughs> um, I stay away from eggs because they give me gas. I'm sure they have some sugar-free barbecue sauce out there too. What do I think about glycemic index? Uh, well, what do you mean? What do I think about glycemic index? So the higher the glycemic index, the more your insulin spikes, the more you're going to gain weight. Like if you're just eating like super high glycemic index foods, but there's also like you can balance out. Say you eat something that has a, a high glycemic index, then you eat something that's has a low glycemic index and it kind of balances it out. People should eat less. Johnny Football, so you heard fasting is bad because they gain the weight back when they stop fasting. I definitely think that instead of just trying to find a diet and sticking to it and then whenever you reach your goal, going back to how you're eating is not the best strategy. I think if you have something that's like a, a lifestyle, like for example, you want to be fit, you want to lose weight, like you start eating healthier, like once you lose your weight, you should continue eating healthy and you should continue 
doing the things that helped you lose the weight. If you're going to go back to eating garbage and and like having no con self control, of course you're going to lose. You're going to gain the weight back. If you're going back to your old habits, so you should have something that's sustainable, and you should have a diet that is flexible so there's not too much restriction so that you don't go into like binge eating that's the thing if you have a diet that's too restrictive then when the diet is over you're just gonna wanna overeat or you're gonna eat too much so if you have like a flexible diet approach like if I wanna eat a chocolate chip cookie I eat a chocolate chip cookie but I just keep it in moderation and um, then it's like sustainable Good hi, what's up Marky or Mark Lee? I have baby abs. <laughs> They're not super defined, but um I want everyone to buy black walnut whole. What what type of carbs do I suggest to lose weight? Um I would say oatmeal, uh whole grain whole grains, like whole grain wheat bread, a whole grain pasta in moderation, um, potatoes, sweet potatoes, vegetables, quinoa, beans, when you come back from a fast eat healthy, salads, oats and fruit. Yeah, so you're saying healthy carbs don't make you fat. Oh yeah, brown rice is good too. I didn't mention that. Um, healthy carbs don't make you fat. There's 